we have one uh, new version of Cy Plumbing, Cy Plumbing Sanitary Systems, okay? Cy Plumbing Sanitary Systems have, uh, have a new interface, okay? Again, you can see the same house that we have been working at, Strubing Rebar at um, Cypre Architecture, and I have been working with the, the, the sanitary systems here at Cypre Plumbing, okay? So the main new, new feature of Cypre Plumbing in this case is the new interface with this 3D environment where you can also work with different views and you can work in, in, 3, in 3D. You can also activate and deactivate the other models that you imported before. Uh, again, here you can see the structure and the rebars created with the other softwares. Now you can see that everything converges to the same same place. Every professional can work with their own software with the, looking from their own perspective. Uh, and now, uh, for example, if I am the, the plumbing engineer, I can now decide how I will include my pipes here because I know where the structure is or where the architecture is. So now I think you can understand. You can see the same buttons here. You can see the same options here. So the, the same interface, okay? Once you start working with one, one software, one type software, then it's gonna be easier to learn the others, okay? In this case, let me deactivate the architectural model, the structural model. Here you can see, um, let's also deactivate the terrain, for example. I think I have here terrain. And I have here some pipes. I have some, also some electrical mechanisms. Let me deactivate that. I have two types of pipes here. I have those that are in green color that were created here inside plumbing sanitary systems. So we are talking about um, wastewater or rainwater, okay? And then we ha also have those that are red and blue and they are uh, the water systems, they are the the the, the water that is um, uh, that is uh, for human consumption or, for example, hot water. So we have two two softwares to design these two parts of the the plumbing uh, the plumbing installation. One for hot water and cold water, and another one for uh, wastewater and rain um, rainwater. Okay, in this case, we are talking about sanitary systems. Uh, site plumbing water systems already have um, a 3D environment or a, this new interface that I'm showing now for sanitary systems. So now you can work with both of them in the same system. Okay. In the in here in this part of the the section, you can see this contour, these lines. They represent the the spaces that were imported from the model, uh, the architectural model. Of course, we can also activate just the spaces. Or, for example, just the furniture like this uh, from the 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 B model, okay. Uh, but you can also have this projection of the spaces in the in the in the floor, and we can also activate and deactivate this um, these spaces. Let me see here where it was, but it's somewhere here. Mm -hmm. The spaces, so we can work with a cleaner uh, interface, okay. If I deactivate, for example, the the part of the model that came from from site plumbing water systems, it's gonna be somewhere here. Architecture model structures. This one, I will uh, remain just with the the parts of this installation that were created here at sanitary systems. Okay. There are a lot of new features here, but let me show you just some basic options of uh, modeling here. The first thing that you can you can now model in 3D. So before it was just uh, in a 2D view. It's going to be much easier to connect elements in a 3D environment. So for example, let me uh, delete this piece. For example, here. Okay. Just let's introduce again this part of the 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 plumbing uh, the plumbing uh, facility. So to introduce a pipe here, it's going to just have to use this pipe option. I will select one of the pipes uh, that I, I, I've i loaded before according to the code that I selected. Uh, there are, in this case, different types of code uh, pipes that I've already loaded. Um, I don't know which one is this. I will take one of them. And then I will just define if I want to introduce this uh, piece of pipe, uh, defining a specific slope, for example, a fixed slope, if I, def I use this option, I just have to uh, add the pipe from one point to another, and according to this value, 
the slope will be um, introduced. I can select this option by a slope that is conditioned by a previous element. It means if I start connecting this uh, this this new piece of pipe from this one, for example, the slope of this one will be extended. So the pipe will be extended with the same slope to the next to the new section, or for example, without restriction. But then I must know uh, exactly the points that I will be connecting. Okay. I also can work with these options here. If I'm working with the 2D mode, basically I will be using one of the levels, uh, sorry, one of the views that are created here, okay, the floors, and then applying different displacements to this, uh, this uh, view, okay, this level. Or I can work totally in 3D by clicking in this option. Uh, in my opinion, I, I prefer to work totally free with, without restrictions and totally in 3D. Um, but that's very personal. We, each professional works in a different way. So I really like to work in the 3D model when, without restriction. And then, for example, I can click in this point, and the second point is to be totally free. And for example, I can click here. Let's see, let's find, for example, a uh, one point here that is in the middle of our maybe our um, snap is not activated. Yes, it's not activated. Yeah, here, for example, and the pipe will be introduced, okay? Two details that we must know here that are very important. This, the first thing is, uh, as I started introducing the first point here and the second point here, this arrow uh, indicates the direction of the flow, okay? In this case, we are talking about pipes that work by gravity, so it's very important to know the direction. So if we are working with, with slopes, we must... Uh, uh, be sure that the slope is in the direction of the flow. So I've been introducing from here to here, but as you can see, if I zoom out in my 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 installation, probably the water is coming from the upper level and coming in this direction until this end point. And I've introduced this um, this uh, pipe in the wrong direction. So if I do like this the key is going to be in that direction. If I do like this, the, the key is going to be in the other direction, okay? Um, let me delete this part. But I have here one option that is, uh, let me find it, that can be used, this one, okay, to change the flow direction, okay? So I can click here and it's going to be changed, very easy. We can also see that when I connected this pipe that was here to that box, um, the we can see now the slope 0.69 percent okay so the software will represent this information to us it's very useful uh one thing that i can do now it's to analyze it and the software will size this 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 pipe okay probably i select one type of pipe that is not uh, not correct to this part i don't remember actually the type of um, pipe that I should add here, but there is another feature that is quite useful that is this one here. Uh, assign the same uh, same characteristics of one pipe to another. So I can select, for example, the criteria or, or dimensions of this pipe and apply to this guy, okay? And then I can check it and see if it's everything okay. And now, yeah, it's, it's everything okay, okay? So, it's very easy to, to model here. I will not explain everything about site plumbing. Uh, we have other seminars uh, showing how it works, especially that part related to the general options of the software that are the same. So the software doesn't change it in this part. Uh, and in the next few weeks, we will also be doing some seminars related to this new interface. Uh, although we, we also have something related to site plumbing water systems that is quite similar that that is our already available in our in our in our video gallery okay uh, one new feature that is here that i think it's quite nice it's also here in the general options as we saw before the the PECO studs in at sitecad and the vurt um, anchors in strobing steel we also have here at site plumbing some new catalogs of uh, materials. For example, here in the pipe pipes, we have now three different um, uh, manufacturers that 
now uh, introduced their materials in our software. So uh, this, uh, these brands now, um, different professionals from different parts of the world can now uh, uh, design their, uh, their, their, their plumbing installations using the products of these three brands, okay? Molecore, Terrain, and Aliaxis, okay? And since the beginning of the, 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 the software, the, since the first moment that the software was launched, we always had the chance to create our own pipes, our own accessories of the, the installation. But now you can also, for example, log into the OpenBeam Open database. It's the same login. And for example, select one of these brands and the, the pipes of this brand will be uh, loaded to the library of site plumbing. This happens with different parts. For example, we saw with pipes, but here in this inspection boxes, it's quite similar. So here we have uh, Aliaxis. And if I remember here too, this longitudinal drain catalog, so we can also select it, um, and more elements that uh, they are real elements for uh, a manufacturer catalog. So you can work with it, okay? Of course, then you can edit this information. You can add or quit uh, uh, diameters or change information or duplicate it, okay? Uh, although probably you use the real element uh, because then it's gonna be easier to find it in the market and then uh, construct your, your buildings. Mm -hmm.